Why do I love starting off with our music every time, guys? Jason, you gotta dance the music, friend. <laughs> He's like, why am I in here with this? <laughs> He's never coming back. <laughs> he knows us well enough to know that we don't just show up like, hey, y'all. No, we're like, hey, hey. y'all. Gotta well, bring the energy. Welcome oh to the Simon Chats Live PJ Open 2024 recap. How's everybody doing today? Good. It's Friday. Good. Everybody's brains got a lot of good information over the last couple of days. I, I, we got things to share. You guys make sure in the comments you let us know that you are here because there's going to be some giveaways today. We have some good eBay swag, but we got to see you in the comments. We got to know you're there so that your name can go on the wheel and win some prizes. We've got prizes like the new eBay Open Cup. Samantha, look at that. It replaces our winter eBay Cup. I know. I'm hoping eBay sends me one for Christmas because I don't have one yet. Maybe we have that. And y'all, I'm always like bagged out. We have so many bags in our house. My girlfriend, Lauren, always says, you are such a bag lady. You've got a bag for everything. But they gave away these super nice eBay canvas bags. Jason, did you get one? Oh, yeah. You're making people jealous. You should tell them that this was only exclusively for those people who went to the eBay launch parties. Yes. yes. Quick -offs. And y'all, this is like L.L. Bean, like good, hard, heavy canvas bag. I mean, it's not truly L.L. Bean, but it is that quality. It's not like one of those little, you know, Hi, swaggy Jill. giveaway things. Hey, Jill. Hi, hey, Pam. Welcome, welcome. Oh, Ooh, Sarah, it's, what's up? It's boinking in here. It's boinking all up in here. Hi, Charlie. <laughs> I hope you're well, Sarah, and I hope I'm going to see you coming up at Boss because I need some Sarah time. Right. I'm feeling it. Yeah. Um, all right, so I think we should start by talking about we have our friend Jason Spangler here, one of our great um, sea chatters. He is Santee Swapper is where you can find him if you want to check out his stuff. He is a niche seller and a sea chatter extraordinaire. He is one of Libby's star book club pupils, and uh, he is a man full yeah. of good... <laughs> Good knowledge and fun to hang out with. But we brought Jason on today because Jason, like myself, hey, Don, welcome. Um, we went to eBay Open kickoff parties. So we want to start by talking about the kickoff parties. Um, he went to the one in Charlotte, North Carolina. I went to the one in Greensboro, North Carolina. And what can we say? North Carolina, I guess, is where we're focused right now. Y'all had three kickoff parties. <laughs> three right? kickoff parties. And there were two uh, people that won the up and running grants from the Charlotte oh, no. area in North I Carolina. I saw that at Matthews yes. and Charlotte, right? Yep. Ooh, mm -hmm. Go Carolina. This is why I'm a Carolina girl, y'all. Mm -hmm. Anyway, Jason, let's start with you. Tell us, this was your first eBay open event like that, wasn't it? Or am I wrong? Well, actually, last year I did go to the eBay Open in Atlanta, the live event. Oh, and that was a lot of fun. Of course, yes. this was completely different. Um, let me just pivot back to something you mentioned a second ago. Libby messaged me uh, a couple of days ago and said, oh, there's one of the eBay uh, grant winners is from your area. And so I went and found the website and, and, and found the two people, both of whom live in the same county, which is kind of crazy if you think about 50 eBay uh, grant winners across the whole country. And All two right. of them live in the same county in North Carolina. And uh, yeah. since we're talking about the kickoff party, let me let me uh, turn them in and tell you that neither of them attended the kickoff party because I didn't <laughs> know who they were. <laughs> I know. I'm like, who are these people? But anyways, I, I have since reached out to both of them uh, by saving, you know, liking their stores. And I've messaged both of them. And one of them has replied back to me, uh, oh, the wow. one who lives like literally probably within a couple miles of me. Cool. And we talked about uh, maybe connecting. So that was cool. But yeah, yeah to get back to the um, the lunch party, um, it was it was interesting. It was, you know, I don't want to be uh, Debbie Downer and I'm always sort of a positive person. But the unfortunate thing was that a lot of people who RSVP 
didn't show. And so mm -hmm. we were supposed to have uh, 30 people there and we had less than half. And, um, wow. you know, so I gave I gave the the host, uh, which her name, by the way, she did a uh, eBay open presentation, Kendall, Ben Gilder and her husband. They did a great job. They were very friendly. It was great location and all that. But I think there were like 25 people on the waiting list, you know. So I think eBay might need to next year do a little bit better about maybe sending out a message 48 hours before, just confirm that you're going to come to these, which of course right. next year they're going to do something completely different. But it was just kind of a bummer that there could have been more people there. But the people who were there, um, we obviously had plenty of time to talk and get to know each other. Um, it was an interesting group. Two people who actually live in the town where my warehouse is, just, just east of us, and they're uh, Ukrainian refugees. Wow. Like they came here, like, you know, since the war, us uh, through some kind of a program and uh, got to meet them and uh, hopefully going to connect with them uh, soon. And then another couple from uh, the eastern part of the state near uh, near Fort Bragg or what is Fort Liberty now, I guess they call it. Um, so anyways, it, you know, it was nice to meet people and talk about the eBay business. And, and honestly, it was a lot of people who are relatively new to eBay, you know, started in the last couple of years. So I think they're the people who are kind of hungry to learn more. So yeah. but how, how is Greensboro, Molly? I heard it was good. Okay, so same thing with Greensboro, a wait list and not everybody showed. Um, they were doing the same size, about 30 people. We ended up with, I wanna say 20 or so. Um, we had a good mix of, I've been doing this for 20 years and this is my first eBay experience and I just started selling on eBay like six months ago. So you really had a good range. Um, I loved that everybody came to meet people. There was nobody uncomfortable in the corner, um, which was nice. Everybody was introducing themselves, passing out their cards, really talking, getting to know who does what. Um, I want to do a shout out. I, I had to make my list so I don't forget. <laughs> but it was held at State Street Jewelers. So interesting story. I don't know how many of you hear other people's eBay stories, but like for Libby, and I say Libby and I, because I've been working with her from the get-go in her business, we started as a brick and mortar and then transitioned into online, right? Now fully online. Well, State Street Jewelers started selling jewelry years and years ago, online only, and then built into a brick and mortar. And the cool thing was when we went to the party the other day, that was the opening day of their brand new store, a freestanding oh. building on Battleground. And it was beautiful. And it was their first day open in the new location. I said, well, that's one way to kick off your opening is have a bunch of crazy resellers come in and eat and drink all over your new store. <laughs> like, that's right? Oh, my gosh. So I want to shout out um, State Street jewelers because it was phenomenal that they hosted they actually co-hosted with lisa i want to say pegram pegram um sorry lisa if i am botching that for you but as we get to know each other better it won't happen again but she is carolina girl eclectic and she was the co-host and it was her first time doing anything ebay she got called in to ebay to say hey would you like to help and she said, sure. And so she ran the check-in and she was a little nervous, but she did a phenomenal job. Um, I was, they, they all did a phenomenal job. Um, it was well done. Um, so funny thing here, I, I meant to do this. Sorry. I'm used to Samantha popping everything up oh, here. Boy. I'm the one that put them <laughs> in. Here's two of our hosts. That's Lisa and one of the gentlemen from State Street Jewelers right there. Look at that nice new store. Wow. Yeah, it's beautiful. We broke it in for them. And then I Hopefully actually nobody did... broke in. It is a jewelry store. We don't know. <laughs> but I gotta tell you, we were the first group of us in. We opened the first door, got to the second door, and we're like, oh, they're locked. And she's like, wait, 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 like hand signaling. Well, you got they have the double door locks. Right. So you have to go in the one door, close it, and then let you in, which we weren't expecting. It was kind of funny, but Anyway, and I, now you uh, have a jewelry connection, which every eBay seller needs to have, have a jewelry. Yes. 
yes. on speed dial, right? I have it. I talked to <laughs> three of the main people there. They are super nice and wonderful. And I now have jewelry and I'm making my appointment next week to take some jewelry into them. So yes, I now have Good. a green for a jewelry people. Because you have buckets of jewelry. Mm -hmm. Yes, I have buckets, mm -hmm. not pails, not pails. I have buckets. <laughs> buckets. <laughs> so I had gotten two tickets early on because Libby sent me a message and Nick was going to go with me just to go. But then I ran into Johnny at a yard sale of Frizzy Finds and he was like, Frizzy and I are on the wait list. And I was like, well, look, Nick doesn't want to go. Like he's going to go, but why don't one of you come? So in the end, Johnny came with me and I made him wear a hair bow on his hat so that y'all in your southern there. bows. <laughs> you knew that was coming, Jason, right? Because uh, that's what I would have done to you, too. <laughs> You're plus one. All right. Yes. But, you know, I've been here for a very, you know, what? I don't know. How many years now, Libby? Almost 10 years, maybe. But I've been so busy with other things. I have not gotten to know the eBay community or a lot of the community because I work from home. So it was wonderful really getting to know people. And I may or may not have volunteered Johnny and I to host a social gathering at one of our houses. So, oh yeah, Don's got a bucket. Don has, yeah, yeah. Oh, come on, Don, come on. <laughs> So true. So true, Jill. Come on. But yeah, she calls I, me afterwards and I'm like, how was it? Like, how did it like the next morning we're talking about it? And she's like, um, I may have volunteered myself to have a meetup at my home. And she's like looking around her living room. She's like, I got some things to do. That's yeah. <laughs> I <laughs> if anybody would understand the money mountains, it's other resellers. I mean, I right? think they would right. feel uncomfortable if there weren't any. Right. You know? Like, yeah, what's going on here? She's not general, a real reseller without Money Mountains. What the yeah. heck? The general consensus from everybody was they want to get together. And I mean, I, Johnny and Frizzy did their first live last night. And he was even saying, because Frizzy didn't come, but the wonderful thing about it was it's it was so great being around people that he's like, you know, I saw something. I called my mom and I'm like, hey, mom, I sold such and such. And she's like, OK, great. <laughs> you know, he's like, it was so good to be around people that I'm like, I got this at a yard sale. And, I said, and they're like, oh, what an awesome, like they got it, you know. And, and we remember mm -hmm. that living from our very first boss, uh, oh, we yeah. saw a remix to finally actually socially be together with everybody that understands our life. Right. Because you know? normally when, you know, <laughs> social circle and I start like, you could see people start to glaze over when I talk about it. Right. Like they just kind of, <laughs> and I'm like, all right, yeah, this conversation is over now. <laughs> It's not like when you're with all us and we're like, really? What? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Tell me more. Do you have a video? Yes, yeah, I need to yeah. know. So, and it was just nice. And everybody generally, and I get this feeling every time, the reseller community is phenomenal. And every time we're together, there really is that genuine care and genuine interest about what you do. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, Jason's niche is Boy Scouts. I know nothing about Boy Scouts, but Gosh, I love it every time he tells a story about a collection he gets. And I learn something, but I also get such a thrill out of Jason's finds and his excitement and knowledge over it. And, and I just want to encourage anybody watching, it, it just always when these things come around, put yourself in that community. Just do mm -hmm. it. Just do it. It's worth yeah. it. In I fact, like yesterday, I need to make a confession here. Um, what? because I just need to get it out. So I signed up for the kickoff party in, in Nazareth, Pennsylvania, and I decided, and there was another reason I couldn't, I couldn't go. And I did not send a message and tell them I wasn't going, even though I did get a reminder, because I thought I might change my mind at the last second. And I wanted to have the option available. So I am sorry if anybody was waitlisted for that party. Do not do what I did. I regret doing that. Never do that. That was terrible. posted in the comments below. Yeah, if you were the Libby one that didn't the make it to that party, let us know so we can we can shame her. <laughs> I yeah, I do. I feel really bad about it. That was a really poor choice I made. Yeah. Were no. they were Sorry. they sold out of spots? I don't know. I don't know. I couldn't. I yeah. Couldn't tell. It did not look like it. I did. I did check that. 
Yeah. It didn't look like and I mean, it. obviously they have to limit it for several reasons. One is what kind of swag eBay sends them as far as giveaway stuff, how many people they can give things to and two, location. I mean, the jewelry store yes. could have handled a lot more, but I have to say, since I was here, it's the first anything eBay in my community. The only thing I used to hear of was what Paul Apollonia would do in what Raleigh Durham area. Mm -hmm. And he's no longer there. He's in Florida and his were online. So this was the first gathering. And it was by the end. That's why I ended up saying, OK, I'll host an informal get together because everybody was so excited. And they're like, we need to do this more. So before we get into the meat of eBay open, I just want to okay. say this. I'm going to be transparent from the get-go. Yesterday during the final day, I may have set an alarm and skipped out at about 2.10 and left because there was a local estate sale that opened. And so I go to this estate sale and I'm like, oh, I can watch it. I'm recording later. I don't, I don't want to feel bad, but I'm so eBay open gung-ho. But I don't want to miss these items. It's the first day. It's a four-day. I'm going and I get there and I'm kind of walking around and I get all my stuff and I'm checking out. Still a little bit guilty. It's looking at the watch. Oh, it's ending now. And I miss the whole rest of the day. And I get this bump on my shoulder and it's Jax, who's a woman who I met at the eBay open kickoff party. And she's like, fancy meeting you here, you know? And she's like, look, hey, oh my gosh, I just, you know, we just met the other day. And I'm like, well, I'm just glad I'm not the only one that snuck out on eBay open to get to this. Yeah, so now she met other flunky friends that are just going to skip yes. school with her. There yeah. we go. All Can right. we get yeah. her in our accountability group? Because we need to we need to wrangle this relationship in. Right. <laughs> All right. So everybody make sure that when you're here right now that you put your name in the comments. We're going to try to remind you to put your name in the comments. Say hello. Hi. Even if you don't want to chat, chat, let us know you're here because... We have a wheel. Libby, you want to share it? I sure do. There we and go. And we have giveaways that we are going to be giving away here. Uh, one of, I'll give you, we have a lot of things. One is the eBay Open. Yes, the Don. Cup. Yes, it is the Don. Thank you very oh much. My God. We have several items like that that we are going to give away today. So make sure you say hi in the comments so that we can get your name on the wheel of giveaways. Look at that, an eBay fanny pack. Belt bag. My favorite thing you said one time when we were doing a live sale. It was so funny. You couldn't think of the name of it. And you said a belly bag. And I was belly like, bag. nobody's, nobody's going to buy it now. <laughs> or a booty bag. I like that belly. All right, let's get into the meat of eBay Open 2024, guys. Let's talk yeah. about it. All right. So let's talk about some things. Well, I mean, I think that so day one, I think the pretty obvious first thing was there was a lot of negativity. They they started with a lot of uh of main stage speakers, which I thought was great, but there I was thought so the main much stage was like the highlight this year. It was totally the main, reversed. Yeah. Yeah, main stage went great, but there was so much negativity in the comments from all the people that, I mean, some of us got a little, oh, hey, Ashley. Ashley. You, have Ashley and you got to put Ashley on the wheel. Hi, right. Ashley. Got it. Some <laughs> of us got a little burnt out in the, the first couple hours of it because we were looking at the comments. So we had to immediately tell ourselves to get out of the comments and just listen to the presentations and the speakers. Yes, because so. Samantha obviously didn't take my advice when we did <laughs> our uh, how to prepare with Lizzo Kane. If you find yourself overwhelmed by the negative comments, I know. Shut the chat. Just shut it out. Just shut, shut it, it out. out. All right. So I'm going to, but I'm going to say the reverse of that is I was pleasantly surprised when I was in that before I shut the chat off that it was less negative than in years past. As negative as it was, I felt like there were a lot of really positive things in the chat which yeah. you know there's always a couple but mm -hmm. i thought there were a lot more positive uh people in the chat this year and one of the things i like too is seeing a lot of connections people make because you know the first thing i want you to do is put where you're from and there's a lot of connections there mm -hmm. um Sarah real moved to colorado there ooh, sourcing mecca ooh, ooh. there was uh there was one or two kickoff parties in colorado they had yeah. quite a few like monthly meetups um but they combined forces for the the kickoff and i don't remember where exactly it was boulder yeah or Denver. sarah jill and i we want to know where in colorado 
us know. And then give us your address, your zip code, your phone. Yeah, just put it all on YouTube. Just put it all out there. Phone number. Yeah. 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 Arvada. I'm not sure where that is. I'm going to have to Google that. We're not really sure where anything is in Colorado. Right. I don't know. I know Colorado. I know where Colorado (laughs) is as a state. And that's about as far as I've I've got. Yeah. Oh, good, Judith. All right. Some of the eBay open. That was her first eBay open. All right. We'd love to know what you thought. All right, Judith. Well, yes. Unsurprisingly, I was much like Libby. I just watched it without the uh, comments at all, and I just enjoyed all of the uh, content. So, you know, yeah. when you go back and watch it now, it's uh, still in the Ring Central. You can go and watch all the recaps, and eventually it'll mm-hmm. be on YouTube here pretty soon. So, you know, all of the negativity that was swirling around, people probably had all these comments ready to go, and they were fired up. You know, you won't see all that. So don't worry. You can just enjoy right. eBay open yeah. without the drama. Right. Yeah. Yes. Attended Atlanta event at Salvation Army. We got behind the scenes. Look at the donations that they cherry picked through to sell their eBay store. Oh, Ooh, that's, that's cool. cool. All right. I like Let me offering. get Mandy on the wheel here. All yeah. Right. Put Mandy on the wheel. And did you see Char is here? I did not. All right. Char. Robin. Oh, Robin. <laughs> you? Let me do your hearts. Do your hearts for Robin. Because oh, oh, oh. they'll Aww. come up. Aww. Robin. <laughs> That's awesome. We're All well right. So you found us. Yeah. The keynote, uh, the keynotes I thought were were great, were great. Um surprisingly. And I thought they did a really good job. So in years past, and they did this at Boss when they came to when they came to speak out in Ireland and Anna Packer came to speak. Uh, they did a really good job of explaining the whole reasoning behind why they do what they do, right? They're not doing like the, I'm going to use the whole like unpaid item thing. They did a really good job of explaining why and giving the reasons behind why they implemented it so um, slowly and it's taken so long. It was because they were losing buyers. It was, you know, I think the concept of eBay being protective of its sellers and supporting its sellers really came across really well at eBay open this year. And we'll get into Lori, Lori Wong and her, her segment, because that was phenomenal. Um, Yeah. (laughs) Hi, Julian. I'm so glad you met us here. Oh, I got it so much. Oh, I know I do miss Julie, Mike, and I'm assuming we'll see them at boss too. Dad gummit. I hope so. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. Look, I I forgot. I was uh, busy with the wheel, so I was uh, neglecting Instagram. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep on popping back and forth. Answer. All right. So you talked about the three pillars, the three pillars. Um, and then they got into eBay motors and trading cards. So I thought they did a really good job because like in past years, they would talk about like sneakers and trading cards, like ad nauseum. Right. And Mm -hmm. we're like, what, like, how is this, like you're losing your audience here. And they really did a good job of explaining how they work in the verticals. Right. Like, Mm -hmm. so they will get all the sneakers and all the authenticity set in that vertical market. And then they'll get it working really, really well. Yeah. Thanks Ken. Um, (laughs) get that working really, really well so that then they can move it to another vertical, right? That might be yours, that might be collectibles, but they really nail it in, in sneakers, trading cards, eBay motors, and they make that the best they can before they roll it out to the other, to the other markets. So I thought finally we have an explanation for why they were so sneaker centric when, you know, 90% of us on there were not sneaker sellers or trading card oh, sellers. Right. It was very off-putting in past years and like it felt almost exclusive. And I felt mm-hmm. like they brought it back around this year and explained why they do, why they were concentrating so heavily. And I think it. that's wonderful because I agree with you. I, I caught onto that right off the bat and loved yeah. it. And they did that in many ways with many different of their breakout sessions too, that they were explaining a lot more detail of how it affects different areas of eBay, but I want to just always, I put it out last year, I want to put it out again. People tend to get turned off as soon as they hear automotive or sneakers when it comes to eBay because of Mm -hmm. every story they tell, ignore that category and just listen to what's in it because it's not as much about the category as about 
what they're doing there. There's always a story and every person that's told their story about their sneaker shop or their automotive shop, things that you learn from them can also go with whatever you're doing. I just think that there's, they pick who they pick for whatever reason, but you know, you're going to learn something from them. So don't, auto, a lot of people just shut down and say, oh, it's auto parts again. Right. I don't know. Well, a good example of that is live selling. I was real curious about that. Oh you yeah. Know, if you're in our Patreon group, you would know that I, I did a whatnot show and experimented with that. And really with all the stuff I have right. on eBay, I, I want to do eBay live, but just like you explained, Libby, they've been kind of experimenting with it in these narrow categories. And, it, and I think they even announced they're going to roll it out to clothing, I think soon. So, I you know, so it'll, yeah. it'll expand and that'll, that'll be interesting if they, you know, keep growing that. Yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah. I think it would be really great since most of us are eBay, eBay centric sellers and to be able to sell with the things that we already have on the platform and move some inventory. I'm really excited. I'm really excited oh, yeah. about that. Awesome. Yeah. All right. That'll Libby, totally your change deal. your unboxing structure, Jason. Your unboxing <laughs> uh, videos, right? <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. yeah. Although I will, I will uh, say this one thing. You know, if you go back and look, there's about 30 different uh, presentations that were made. And one of them was titled Hobby. You know, like turn your hobby into a business. I, ooh, I watched that one. But I was a little bit wah, 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 because the guy's business was fixing uh, – cracked screens on iPhones oh, and stuff. Yeah. Oh, and I'm like, yeah. good for him, but how in the hell is that anybody's hobby? <laughs> oh, you know, excellent to... point. That but he funny. did, he, yeah, he got started with Pokemon cards, but if your whole business is cracked phone screens, I don't think that qualifies as a hobby. So. Yeah, yeah. That's a that's a side hustle. But I, yeah, I would be I'm thinking talking. more of it being a niche based presentation. Yeah. It's a maybe business. he like, has a do? maybe he has a collection of tiny screwdrivers, oh, and that is yes. his hobby. Like, right. <laughs> I mean, people have weird hobbies. Let's just throw that out there. Who knows? Did you get yeah. Wes on your wheel? Me. I did get Wes on the wheel. Yes, All I did. Right. Whoop, whoop. Jill said she appreciates that they also explained that the money they spend on those specific things also goes to the rest of us because they're there and they're shopping. And that's what promoted listings are for. It's still showing them all kinds of other stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sure. They, yeah. Excellent job doing that. So, yeah. So the eBay live, they're rolling that out. The shop, the look um, and the options like the AI things, the shop, the look and the options to scan a tag that are coming like a clothing tag or something like that. And it'll populate the mm -hmm. item specific. We'll, we'll see. I don't know. Yeah. I can't fathom that, but I'm, I'm sure Molly is super excited about that one. That technology is there. I mean, List Perfectly is using a similar technology already. So if they yeah. can, if eBay can do that and tap into their huge database, that'd be amazing. Yeah. Absolutely. Yay. So fun things to come. It's neat to know they're working on that behind the scenes. So, all right. One of my favorite speakers was uh, Thomas Walker, the Global Consumer Insights. And he did, um, he introduced a new term, VUCA, which I don't like the way that really sounds, but, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, as a, as an explanation of the marketplace, had you guys heard that term before? I had uh -huh. not. No. Okay. It was like volatility, uncertainty, change and ambiguity all right common friends. had y'all yes. heard of this friends let us know we want to know state of the world but uh he his 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 presentation was really cool because he story branded it and uh that's one of the books drink, we just jill. finished in book club jill, jill drink. drink yeah c chats book club yep uh, and he be keeping us you know, really got into making um, us sellers the, the heroes of the story. So good job, Thomas. I, I really enjoyed that. I think that is absolutely worth going back and listening to. And then Shouty was there. Um, she talked about AI and the this one. I want to know your thoughts on this, the multi-item and the bulk adding of items. Like if you're adding several items that are similar, you can bulk add items to eBay. What'd you guys think oh, about that? Oh, right. That's exciting. Yeah. So I, I don't, I cool. thought that was kind I of love, cool. I love bulk uploading everything on um, many different ways. So that'll be exciting to play with. Yeah, it definitely will. Um, the combined shipping for international, 
updates to seller hub, which was like kind of a little bit of a, I was super excited. So they showed, they have this buyer overlay. And when you have a repeat buyer, Jason, you probably have a lot of repeat buyers. Yeah. Um, we have a fair amount of repeat buyers for it being everything sellers that you can click on them. And it says like what they ordered, what their history is. And it has this buyer overlay right in your seller hub or in your like active shipping things now. So of course I had to go right over to eBay and try it. And I'm like, it doesn't work. So Jason, yeah. you said, I was, so I immediately asked Jason, like, what the heck, what did I miss? Why isn't mine working? And you said they only rolled it out to certain categories. Correct. Yeah. I think that's kind of what, and it was interesting too. That there's, there's a few things I've seen, like I was clicking around yesterday and if you click on an item, there is kind of like a little thing that I think is new, which gives you an estimated you know, based on your selling history, what is the estimated time it would arrive, which I think they mentioned in eBay open, it was kind of an uh, AI type thing where, you know, they can figure that out based on what your history is. But yeah, some of this is going to be slowly rolling out. Um, we can yeah. So th did it work for yours? Did you try your repeat buyers and see if no, it worked? No, that'll oh, be. You didn't try it? Oh, okay. Not yet. No. All right. I will though. Wow, I'm dying to know if it's in your category. <laughs> All right, homework. So that was really <laughs> homework. That I was like really, it. um, really interesting to learn about that. There was a point I wanted to. Oh, so there was a lot about enhancing the relationship between you know uh, us sellers and our buyers through things like this and repeat customers and ways to kind of you know it was they were really heavy on. Um, you know, making that relationship between sellers and buyers like more uh, personal, right? Because people buy from people they know and trust. So, you know, fix up your fix up your store, add a video, an about section, a photo, um, you know, send personalized notes and um, that buyer overlay is going to help with that. So if you have somebody that repeatedly comes back and shops with you, you kind of get familiar with what they're buying and, you know, can include a little note or, you know, maybe recommend an item, things like that. So there was a lot of emphasis on, on that in the buyer relationship, which I thought was really cool. Mm -hmm. And I think that'll play really well into live selling, right? All these oh, yeah. enhancements, like, because people will be getting to know you. If you want, right. if no, you don't want to sure. remain anonymous, you can still do that if you want. Absolutely. <laughs> Shout out to uh, Sherry Smith, who's just a jewel. She did a really good oh, one yeah. on creating a memorable buyer experience. And, you know, sometimes the one reason to go to these eBay opens or at least watch the replays is something you already know, you can kind of get reminded of and you're like, oh, I need to yes. do that. So literally last night. Um, I, I, we went and changed some settings in the store to make it easier for people to get free shipping because mm -hmm. based on something Sherry Smith said, and going back to your thing, Libby, she talked about how in her messages back and forth with these repeat buyers, they just address her by her first name. You know, they don't use the complicated eBay handle. It's like, they know they're buying from Sherry. And so mm -hmm. that's a good reminder to all of us. Absolutely. And in saying that, Jason, yeah, always remember when you're messaging, sign off by your name, right? Like that's the most important. Libby and I always will sign off in our messages kindly. Sometimes I'll just do Molly if it's something more specific, but I'll be Libby and Molly or, you know, that personal, not conchie consignment, you know. <laughs> Some people get really excited because my name is sorting with Samantha. And then I'll sign it Samantha at the end and they're like, oh, I'm talking with the owner. Like, <laughs> You know, because I have a lot of employees and everything. Yeah. <laughs> you do have a shipping manager. You do have a shipping manager. Yeah, you're expanding by the day there. So. Right. <laughs> right. So um, I went to the um, yeah. luxury one just because I wanted to learn a little more on that. I don't do a lot of luxury, but I've always said at some point I might tap into that. Um, and it was a lot of talking about the different brands and that kind of thing, but they talked about consignment. Yeah. Like, uh, what do you know about eBay consignment? Because I thought it would be like, this is their like fifth go round of doing something like this, like throughout the <laughs> years I know of. And every year it just, it just dies off. Right. Nobody says anything. So when you texted me and you said, do you know about eBay consignment? Cause they announced it last year. I said, oh, it's still around? <laughs> yeah. I mean, and they're still calling it a new alternative, right? Okay. A way to sell on eBay. But my guess is because it was only mentioned in luxury, like you said, it must be just right now focused in the luxury mm -hmm. atmosphere of that. But, you know, it's the whole thing of 
getting, if you have too much to list and you're overwhelmed, you can always send it to eBay and consign it through them. And it didn't talk about percentages or anything in detail. It was more of just a bulk, you know, easy way to get your stuff out there and have them. They will automatically, it's authenticated and they get it up and you just sit back, right? And mm -hmm. wait. But I, I was curious. I want to know more, but it was really just a, a Passover on it, probably because it's still new. So they figure people who are really yeah. interested will come for the the beef of that all. Um, but yeah, the I signed up for it last year, but had never heard and had never heard anything back. All right, so all right. I'm not sure. The other thing they did at the end of that one, which mirrored a lot of what we did in our Get Ready for Q4, our recent episode we just did, was a lot about, okay, it's the holidays, here's tips and tricks in the luxury trade. But in reality, y'all, they are tips and tricks for all of us. It's list all that excess inventory now because it's Q4, you want it all up. So maybe, no, I'm not going to say we're doing another list of Palooza. We don't have time. <laughs> <laughs> But you make your own time. personal list of Palooza, y'all, and make sure you get those money mountains up. And oh, please. Like, we're getting all of our money mountains up. Come on. Right? I don't know. <laughs> on the hey, size of your my, account my accountability list is these bags. It's happening. It's, it's happening. happening, she says. One mountain um, at a time. Now would be a time, if you needed to, to request those limit increases on your pages to get more things done. And I heard this too, and I was surprised at how many people don't. And you had mentioned this, Libby, reduce your handling time. If you can reduce your handling mm -hmm. time, do that now and ship mm -hmm. that stuff out quickly. And we yep. talked about that in our other other one. Oh. <laughs> Pam hasn't recovered, recovered from the last list of balloons all right. yet. All right. No, I haven't either. So either. I'm yeah. doing... We're doing our own personal list of Palooza, y'all. So, all right. If you guys haven't joined our list of Palooza challenge, just go to our um, Patreon group, sign up. It's just Patreon consignment chats. I'm sure Samantha has a link. There's always a link in the show notes. Just join as a free member. And we do a, what, I would say like once a quarter. At least. You know, a couple yeah. times, a couple times a year, we'll throw out a, a list of Palooza where we all just get together, support each other and just list like crazy for three or four days and total them up. And it's just a lot of fun and it's really motivational. But and we get pretty intense free. and it's, it's free. free. <laughs> it is a free, intense competition. Not only is it free, we, that's one of our favorite things to say. But y'all, the other thing we like to say is there's prizes. Oh, mm -hmm. prizes. Just like with <laughs> giveaways today, because we yes. just love doing prizes and giveaways. It makes us happy, happy, happy. So um, anyway, the last two things on that were to utilize the promoted listings and ads, which I know we've already talked about, and to expand to international shipping if you have not yet. Um, so I just thought those are those good reminders that we reminded in our previous episode, but it was, even though they said it in luxury, it really goes across the board for everybody. These are good tips to make sure you're doing through Q4. Yeah, so I love that. Speaking, the handling time. Oh, sorry, Samantha, go ahead. Yeah. No, well, speaking of the international shipping program yeah. through eBay, um, which is super easy and everybody should turn it on or turn it off, I guess. Um, Watch turn, Samantha's video, her tutorial we, video. It's We have a short video that explains how easy. complicated that is, but it's not. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but something that they said at open was that uh, a lot of, a lot of sellers don't, they exclude places like Hawaii and Alaska because they're worried about the shipping. They're worried about the cost. They're worried about things getting lost. They're just, you know, the long, the longer times to get there, which I haven't experienced any of that. It's always worked Me well, either. but it really intimidates people just like international shipping does. So they are working to bring uh, the intimidating places like that, even though they're not international, they're going to add those to the international uh, shipping program as well so oh, yeah. that you will know how longer have to worry. Now, this, I don't think it's an effect yet, but they're working on it. You will no longer have to worry about shipping to Alaska. You will just ship it to the hub in Illinois. And then once it's there, you never have to worry about it again. They take care of it. They take care of any returns. They deal with the post office if it gets lost. Like, yeah. Hey. I, I've never had a problem shipping to Hawaii or Alaska. And I sell a ton to Hawaii. Probably because really a lot of people here. don't want to ship there they don't have it on their I list guess so. I, yeah. I, was say, I ship to hawaii quite often myself right yeah. 
Yeah. They recently never. added um, some of the territories into the international and people were like all freaked out. They're like, well, it's not international, but they're doing it so that we just ship it domestically to Illinois and then we don't have to worry about it after that. Oh, just I haven't had any of those for the territories yet. Speaking, I had one recently. Okay. Speaking of shipping and the listing quality one that I went to, top reasons buyers don't convert. Me too, don't. Hmm. What do you think oh, it is? Puerto Rico, yeah. Um, High shipping costs. Mm -hmm. That is the top reason why buyers don't convert. So I always say you got to do the calculated and go ahead and weigh and measure because that way you know that the shipping costs they are getting, if you're charging for shipping, go ahead and find that box. I mean, Nick and I have been doing it religiously. Find that box, put that item in it, you know, give yourself a little bit for that, but just do the exact measurements because then you are not accidentally overcharging shipping to somebody because you don't want to miss a sale because you guesstimated something and overdid it. So yeah, mm. absolutely. Oh, Don is calculated all the way. Oh, you are very calculated, Don. <laughs> I'm very a flat rater. And this morning my husband bought something. It really didn't need that many layers of boxes, but he, he felt like it did and he boxed it up and I said, well, we'll, we'll weigh it and measure it and put it in and see how much and we might have to repackage it. So it's a little lighter. And he put it in and he goes, Oh, that's 30 cents over what you charge them. Cause I do flat rate. I said, I'm sure somebody else on this list made up for that 30 cents. It's all right. right. Like, We're good. <laughs> <laughs> it all evens out. <laughs> this is our point all the time. Yes. Don, when you yes. do it that way, no matter what the price is, no matter what USPS does with their pricing, you don't have to think twice about it if your listings are done that way. I love calculated shipping. I can't say mm -hmm. enough about it. I think it's great. Uh, when we made the change, because we've done it all sorts of ways, some of our stuff is free shipping. Most of it's calculated. But when we made the change to calculated shipping, all of a sudden our local our like regional sales increased dramatically, right? Because somebody, mm -hmm. you know, we had a flat rate on there. It would say, let's say, cost $18 to ship out to California and it would cost seven to ship to New Jersey. Right. Mm -hmm. Like, so all of a sudden, all those like New York, New Jersey, you know, buyers, the ones in our region, all of a sudden we were getting a lot more sales because we weren't charging, you know, yeah. the $18 that we would, that we were when we did like a flat rate. So oh, Don. yeah, we've all done it. It's okay. Oh yeah, well, Don. That happened to me yesterday in my conversion really? from one platform to the other. I forgot to double check on the cross list, and when it cross listed, I had had it as three pounds, but it came across as three ounces. See, Ooh. but then it makes up for it because other ones are different. See, it works out. Yeah, I it all comes out. out. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I I was like, "Dad, gum it!" But in the end, even if nothing else washed out, I still made good money off the sale, so it was good. Yeah. 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 Jason, shipping. I know your shipping is a little bit different. You're not the only one that does, you know, items. You want to talk about that for a second? If you took anything new away with the shipping from eBay Open? Yeah, the big thing for me is going to be that I use the eBay standard envelope. And so that's uh, something that, you know, they've talked about a little bit, but it's been rolled out to additional categories. And it's been a, a big game changer for me. It's allowed me to achieve top rated seller status, which was before unattainable because I'm selling little tiny patches. Um, the, the big changer, Samantha kind of mentioned this about international shipping is going to be that I have a lot of patches from other countries. And so, you know, someone will look at one of these patches and to them, it shows something like $16 for shipping. Um, yes. And I think possibly if, you know, they could bundle items together, which only weigh like one ounce and, and buy, you know, a bunch at a reasonable price, I would get more international orders. So I'm looking forward to that to see. Oh, wow. um, and then the only other thing I wanted to mention was there is a good, uh, if you go back in the replay, there's a good one about marketing strategies. And basically he goes down through the marketing tab and just hits all the things, but he hits some major points about like coupons and store newsletters and all that stuff that we all need to be reminded about. So yes. again, you know, when you're, when you go back, you know, while you're working and you have it running in the background, I know a lot of us have YouTube and stuff running in the background just to keep us busy or not keep us busy, but keep our mind distracted from kind of the, the, the drudgery, um, you know, take some notes because some of these, it'll, it'll remind you of things you need to, to double check on. 
So was yeah, that I the one that. called 10 Seller Hub Tools and Strategies for Business Expansion? <laughs> Right? Or no, was it, it wasn't that one. one. It was a different okay. one. Um, and I think it was called marketing. Although I confess when I went back through the recap, I couldn't find the replay of it, but I watched it live at the time. Um, but anyways, um, I'm sure it'll be on YouTube eventually. Okay. It was an eBay employee that did it. <laughs> oh, okay. Liz loves her some newsletters. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so I'm, yeah. So Sherry Smith, I, I went into the tail end of one of hers cause I had to duck out a little bit yesterday. Um, but then did she, you go to an estate I, sale? I'm sorry. I did not. Oh, we had senior pictures. I had to travel. That's um, right. So when I popped back in, I caught the tail end of one of her networking sessions or one of her sessions. But then the great thing was that they put the same people in networking sessions right after. So we could continue the conversation and go over there. And she popped me up on screen and we were able to chit chat back and forth for a little while. Um, and yeah, the, the biggest thing that I got from talking with her is we were reminding each other of different settings and someone would ask a question and we'd go into the hub and we're like, oh, wait, we should, you know, it's been a while since we did a newsletter. It's been a while since we did this and we didn't realize they added this button. And sometimes you just got to go in there, play around with it. And yeah, and listen to these things to, to reconnect with some of that stuff. Cause there are so many options. Yeah. Sherry is awesome. I really liked interacting with her. She looked, um, she looked a little sad being all alone on camera, and she was just really hoping that somebody would come on. So I popped in there and gave her a face to look at while we talked. Because <laughs> <laughs> Samantha's got to have her face everywhere, y'all. You know, I really do. Her. My my face was in a lot of rooms yesterday. So it's, <laughs> we started the day with networking rooms, and so I did a networking room, and uh, that's how we got Rob in here. That was tuning in with us she's a fellow michigander that was in my networking room oh so. wow yeah and we just i just want to say like if you are i would say the 10 seller hub go back and watch that session cool. the 10 seller hub tools and strategies for business expansion um put that on your on your list to watch because they hit on a lot of the a lot of the basics but like Jason said, it's it's a good reminder just for reminders um, yeah yeah for things that maybe you stop doing all right Go ahead, networking. Jason's got. Oh, I was I was just going to mention uh, since we're giving some people some shout outs. I I was popping into different ones. Like I popped into Reseller Genie for a minute and popped into List Perfectly and and you know who was all over the place. Who I I heard her called out at least twice was Kathy Cox. So yeah. she was like yeah. in the yeah. chat, man, because they yeah. were like, oh, I Kathy, Kathy. So, yeah, I saw her several times too. Yeah, Kathy, our eBay eBay guru, man. She's always there. Oh, Samantha. Oh, thank you, Robin. That <laughs> one that one was a tough one because I'm in the middle of nowhere. Um and <laughs> we only have Michigan is a pretty wide state because of the way our peninsulas are and we only have like Detroit and me that have meetups. So, I just encourage anybody that went into a room, a networking room and they're like my area wasn't represented. Go represent your area. Anybody could have applied. And anybody can do a meetup and the meetups are so easy to do. You, I go and have coffee. Sometimes people show up and have coffee with me and we chat. That's how that works. Like you don't have to put on a big production. There doesn't have to be a photo booth every time. There doesn't have to be, you don't have to pay for food and whatever. People are more than willing to buy their own sandwich and their own latte. Yeah. But just, you don't set something up in the town hall down the street or the church basement down the road. Like, and just meet with people. People want to meet other people that get what they're talking about. We want, yeah. they crave that networking. So I did feel bad because most people were really far away from me. There's a lot of people from all over the Midwest coming into my room. Someone from Texas came in and I explained that I was an in-person group in Michigan. And she said, well, I'm sorry, I'm not welcome here and got a tood with me. Oh. And so then I felt bad. Yeah. Someone like I was North just. North Carolina came in too. <laughs> Yeah, right. Like, I was just trying to explain that I'm in person and I'm here for those that want to travel here. But yeah, no, it was uh, it went well and it was nice. Good. So hopefully we get more people here. There was someone from my town that I don't know. That no. was in there. Yes. The name sounds familiar, but I do. Well, I hope I don't know that person. <laughs> I really didn't know who it was, but maybe we met before. Oh, now I'm wondering if I do know that person. I don't know, but. 
that might have been the person that stopped me in Goodwill that one day. I'm not sure. Well, good for you for doing yeah. it. I I I yeah. love. I want to also shout out everybody, everybody who did any type of recorded speech, running a room, doing mm -hmm. a kickoff party, Absolutely, eBay yeah. as a whole. I know it takes so much of your time to do any of that, and yeah. there are thousands of people watching and learning and so what you guys give no matter what part of that you're giving is incredible and so valuable to the reselling world so thank you i yes. want to put that out there jason i want to give a little throw a little critique in there for ebay though because you know they're you know they're listening right um this the sessions were a little too short i almost every I single one that. i went to was was too short Great. and the q a was like what was it like five minutes it, they didn't have enough yeah. they didn't have Super enough fast. time to adequately yeah. address the questions or respond respond to everybody's questions everybody felt like it got kind of cut short that was in the that was in those Absolutely. rooms even the ones that had like the you know the extra session afterward it, it right just, it didn't flow the Q and A's were real short. I mean, uh, yeah. they would get two to three questions, and that was yeah. it. Um, yeah. The other thing that I want to tell everybody who is listening, I know there were a lot of people, any new sellers out there. There were a lot of people who were like, "Wait, can you show a demo?" Because they don't understand they're recorded. And a lot of people I saw in the chat, new yeah. sellers wanted demos. So. Um, I want to just tell anybody new who watches this was like, I just didn't get the step-by-step. -step. We have tutorials in our YouTube page. I made a list of more to make based on those comments I saw. Yeah. Because tell I knew, us what you need and we will us make what it. You need, we will make them, but know too that there are other people out there that do them. I mean, we do want to mm -hmm. grow our audience and we do want you to love us, right? Because I mean, we're lovable. But there are so many knowledgeable people out there who do the same. I know Liz O'Kane does a lot of great um, reels mm -hmm. and things showing stats and stuff. So just they're out there. Um, there are a lot of resellers that use eBay that take the time to make those tutorials. And um, Libby, are you you're going to make this an episode or does it stay as alive? Are you able to link stuff up on here? Yeah, I'll, I'll make it into an episode. Yeah. And link so we can link some of the tutorials here, but please let us know if, Anyway, whether you want to email us or put it in the comments, if there's something that you wish there was a quick tutorial how to do it. Um, I know one of them, the seller on the go, um, selling on the go with eBay. There were a lot of people who wanted to simply know how to customize your search on your phone, the lock buttons and how that works. Um, I already told Samantha we need to put that out there because there are a lot of people who really, and Dalton did a good job at the live end of it showing it, but I still think there were more wanting it. So okay. we're going to make that tutorial this week and get it hooked up. But anything like that that you need, please, um, we are happy and willing to do quick tutorial shares on that to show you how to do it. Yeah. More One of the things I want to learn a little bit more about is they were talking a lot about Pinterest. So mm -hmm. their Pinterest yeah. didn't work it didn't work well for an everything seller in the past because it's it's kind of like you put the pin up and it's kind of evergreen, right? And the stuff mm -hmm. we sell is ephemeral, right? It'll be it'll be sold in a week, you know, it'll right. be it'll be there and gone. So when somebody clicks on your eBay listing and Pinterest, it takes them to, you know, it's dead. Um, so I'm kind of curious about how that's working and how to make that work. And yeah. I, I think it's different than it was when, you know, we got into it, but eight years ago or so samantha we did this right i'm sorry i'm looking right now i think I we have that yeah i think we do if not we'll make one no, we'll get one right. for you julie mike whichever one one of you it is but i, I feel like <laughs> we did do that at some point so I i've actually... got a, i've got to go to an appointment y'all but let me just oh, yeah. uh, oh, yes. close my part with one one thing um yeah. i totally agree with what you said many of the sessions were 15 minutes or less and they were very just surface level but I think mm -hmm. that in a way this shows, and Molly, just give us the, the spiel for this, why you need to have an eBay community or a tribe that you're a part of. There's lots of them yes. out there. Are. But you got to have a place where you can go get these questions answered. Because like you said earlier, Molly, you, you talk to other people in your life about your eBay business, their faces kind of go blank. Um, so you <laughs> got to find your tribe. So, you know, this is a fun tribe to be with. And uh, I'll just leave it at that and say goodbye. I got to run for good appointment. 
Thank, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for joining us. We love that you came and shared your perspective. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. We, so we are going to have to add sales to our list. We have um, how to share things to social media. We have seller initiated offers. We got newsletters, international. We got all kinds of stuff, but I do not see a basic run a sale one. Well, we will get Ooh, that up. Fun. We've got a list we will work on and get that up ASAP, guys. So just remember to check back at our YouTube. Um, and, and Libby does a great job of... Um, Putting our videos in what are they called? Categories. The show notes. In, oh, in the in playlist. The playlist. playlist. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when you go to our YouTube channel, you can go to the playlist, and and there she does a good job of breaking that down so that you can find what you're looking for. If it's tutorials or live um, sourcing videos or any of that. Yeah, so, or just you can send us a message if you can't find it. Um, we'll either make it or we'll send you the link for it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So oh, everybody's wait, wait, wait. Robin's got a good question. Oh. Why, Robin? Yes, we do. Robin, you are in the right place. You Libby is the place. queen of eBay charity, and we have actually partnered with the Fearless Living Fund to uh, do a lot of things with their charity in the Blind Center of Nevada, where Boss Reseller Remix is held. Um, so let me link yeah, that up because. We have a lot of stuff in here, but we do have a recent uh, little webinar that we did as well. So yes, yes, I'll put yeah. that in there. And then there's many other charity videos that we have done and talked about in our in our YouTube channel as well. All right, did yeah, everyone I would definitely go watch comment. that video. Definitely go watch yeah. the video. It is it is it will teach you how to use eBay for charity and talk about how it works, but also um, give you a little insight into the Blind Center of Nevada and the Fearless Living Fund, which is absolutely yes. amazing. All right, yes. sorry, go ahead, Molly. I just want to make sure everybody said hello in the comments. Nobody's been quietly watching and not putting your name out there because we're about to do some giveaways. I'm feeling yes, I want to, yes, I want yes, to yes. milk the spin. I love giveaways. Let me get back so, in here. So you guys put your names in there. Make sure we've got you on the list and that you're here for the giveaways. And then I just want to talk about this. There wasn't a lot of swag with this one and people were getting cranky because they didn't have the normal, like the first 3000 people that fill out the survey, get a whatever they did trivia. They did some other stuff. I loved the way they did the swag. I absolutely loved it. They did it for charity. They did a live auction at the end. The only thing that they should have done different is let it run longer. Those 20 seconds were not, everybody is hitting that <laughs> button. And I loved Liz's, um, Real about that, her post on Instagram. It was just funny. Trying to hit that button. Because literally doing that, I don't think I got a single bid in. All I was doing was hitting. Oh, buttons. really? All right. I didn't try the bid. I did a. I did a quite a few of the buy it nows, but I didn't do any bidding. That dress only sold for like forty bucks. And right. Because like, people couldn't hit that button. Right. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. That makes sense. All right. I just got to give a warning though. You just be sure when you're bidding on things online that you're careful you don't fat finger type in the wrong number. I'm just saying that from a. I was once with Molly at a charity auction and instead of $75, she put in $750 and ended up winning a, what, $400 t shirt? $400 something t shirt. Yes, it was a great Christmas gift to a relative. Yes, yes. Listen. <laughs> I, it was okay because I had a budget. This was for charity. I wanted, I was fearless living. I was going to donate the money anyway, but I all of a sudden I'm up there bidding on the whatnot thing live, sitting up at the balcony going, I'm gonna da, 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 and all of a sudden I went, oh my God, Samantha, I just put $750 and I can't change it. I think oh it was God. like me, Nicole, and maybe Sunny up there. And we were like, what? what Ken was going nuts. He's like, We have another Molly has another bid. Molly, has like, another bid. Just Molly had auto bidding. Bidding. it just kept repeatedly <laughs> outbidding everybody on there, and he kept going, Oh Molly, and I'm just watching the money go 250, 395. <laughs> Am I gonna hit 750? Yeah, or? Right. here's the thing about whatnot as opposed to eBay. They you can't have an unpaid item on whatnot, man. It's automatic <laughs> payment. It is not, not great when you make a mistake like that, is it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so right, my cousin so got a four hundred and something dollar Grateful Dead T-shirt for Christmas I, this year, this past year. <laughs> we got in the Uber shortly after, and she is like holding this shirt like this. 
this is a four hundred and thirty-seven dollar shirt. <laughs> That's right. It all went to the Blind Center of Nevada, and I couldn't be happier. But it was funny. It's just a funny story to tell. I, how are we feeling about the wheel, Libby? Yeah, I, I want to just mention um, one thing about the generational trends that Hotwire did. If you guys did, you oh. see that? Uh -uh. Where they talked mm -hmm. about like boomers, Gen X, you know, millennials. Oh, they went yes. through. That was awesome where they broke it all down. And absolutely. Yeah. Everybody should watch that presentation. It gave insights into your shoppers. It was so well done and it was absolutely phenomenal and fascinating. Put that on your watch list. If you watch nothing else, it will connect you with the, with your buyers Listen, in, in a ways that you never thought about. Can we also talk about how the in the pictures of the background and the main stage and all the stuff, there was trending like outfits and things on there. Like those are things that my teen is wearing and and things like that, the upcoming trends. And they were putting it in front of people are like, oh, my God, those pants. And I'm like, those pants are what you need to source because that's what's there. Why, yeah. Sarah? Yes, it was at Boss. <laughs> that was a that was a okay let's go now <laughs> so the other one if you're i mean there were there were a, a couple good ones a lot of them were really like high level a lot of the sessions um the other one i just want to mention that i enjoyed was the pre-loved fashion session and that was done by ebay mm -hmm. um they talked a lot about brands, like what brands were popular, what were up and coming. And like, there's lists of, of brands and a couple of them I'd never heard of that were top in their categories. So uh, the pre-loved fashion one, go back and watch that. If you are a clothing seller at all, it's very, um, very insightful and interesting. And they were talking a lot about how 50% um, of pre-loved fashion will be um, being purchased online. Uh, next year is on target to be yeah. 50%. Yeah. online. Oh. Yeah. In a traditionally oh, like brick and mortar kind of, um, um they said the same category. thing in the luxury, by the way, Libby, that 50% oh, okay. are shopping, um, pre-owned luxury. Okay. So I would love, that was in this coming, you know, this now I'd love to know what that was like two years ago. Like, is there so, a big increase in that or is it the same? Right. Hey, star. So we were just talking about tutorials and other YouTubers that like to uh, share and teach people and flipping hippos. Y'all go like star. Um, star is a big one. She has tons of tutorials on her, on her page and her channel. She will also, when she goes live, you can literally ask her anything and she loves to share her screen and walk you through it. So she's an yes. awesome resource yes. in the reselling community. I was in her networking room yesterday, hanging Where out with you? her, and I think it was Karen. Um, it was it was great, yeah. It, she did a great job, and they have already have they're planning a virtual meetup here for Pennsylvania and that in that area. So they're oh, going to be doing it virtual. Yeah, she's already organized it. It's happening. It's of course she yeah, did. This it happened far. right there in the networking room. It was so <laughs> cool. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Of course. All right. Libby, can we do the Yes, meal? yes. Are we right, ready? What are we going to start with? We are ready. Are I have saying? a beautiful high grade, y'all. This is no chintzy bag. This is, I would say, L.L. Bean-esque canvas bag right here. Are right. we ready? We're ready. I would never say gorp core for L.L. Bean, but this is more beach core to me. Oh, wait, I'm Thank clicking you. the wrong thing here to spin it. Hold on. All right, there we go. go. There we go. There we go. It's gonna be Pam Henry. Pam Henry. Hey, Pam Henry. Hey, Pam Henry. All right. Well, Pam already has something else to ship to you, so this is great. Makes that one easy. Look at there you that. go. All right. Let's do ready? that cup next. We need the cup. All right, you want to oh, do the cup? The one I almost didn't give. Oh, that cup. I thought you meant my cup. That okay. Cup. I think I All think right. everybody right. wants that cup. I love this cup. Love, love, love it. I mean, I love this cup too, but I need snowflakes all the time. What are we doing? Is it going to be Sarah? It's Boinking. Boinking. <laughs> Sarah, you are winner of an eBay open. All right. Is somebody Stanley. writing this down so we know so, who gets what? Because So oh, now you legitimately have to send us your address. <laughs> yes. We need ad mailing address, please. Just message that to us. Yes, don't put it in on the in the YouTube comments. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All, All right. right, what's next? Sarah, 
Let's do your one. soup. Your soup cup. All right, guys. Bubble. I'm gonna call this a bento. A bento. Go. Um, soup cup. Soup cup. Because look, it has the lid, right? This was some um, swag from the last meetup. Year my or meetup. One of the no, it's oh, it was from my meetup. meetup. All right, okay. so it has like a little tray that you take out. And then it has another removable insert there. So you can divide that. It is insulated. And then in the lid, it has the for a fork and a spoon. Oh, Look at that. Isn't that awesome? So you see why I wanted cute. to see, right? Oh, Liz, thank you. All right, here we go. The bento cup, I'm going to call it. Bento cup, bento cup, bento cup. Julie! Although you did spell Julie oh, wrong. I totally spelled Julie wrong. I am so sorry. Yeah, there's two <laughs> E's, girl. Two E's. Well, I almost put, what What was it, Julie? Julie 331? Julie 3, what was it? From Boss the first, <laughs> the year, the second year. All right, Julie gets the, the cup. All right, um, Julie all spelled right. correctly gets the cup. I am so sorry. I was trying <laughs> I to get everything. I'm in my notes. Julie. I got the double E here. Y'all, just please make sure that you message us your um, your address. Just yes, Julie three three zero. Julie three three zero. Yes. All right. All right. right. Samantha's well, got some eBay. We can I've call it. A belt bag, a fanny pack, or a belly bag. eBay <laughs> colors, but they nobody didn't put wants eBay a belly bag, it, so it's not super embarrassing. Just eBay colors. Here we go. Here we go. This is Ooh. so fun. Oh, 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 oh. oh Manny! Nice. Congratulations. For those of you that need to send us your address, you can reach out to us at consignmentchats at gmail.com. Yes. All right. What's um, next? I have a coloring book and colored pencils. Oh, oh, oh. This is the reseller, first edition reseller coloring book. And it has all the fun coloring pages. So, and it comes with a 24 pack of Crayolas. So let's do this coloring book. All right, here we go. <laughs> Keith, get your phone. <laughs> Julie spelled Julie correctly. Again. Look, I changed it. All right. <laughs> All right, she's getting a double shipment. She's getting all the happy mail. All right, I like that you're leaving everything. And just so y'all know. Why not? That was an accident, but. I got a <laughs> word out. Coming soon, coming soon is volume two of the Re My Reseller Coloring Book. Volume two, and that is um, proceeds will go to Fearless Living. So it is a sponsored and. Um, it's it's just it's wonderful. There's sponsors in there, and all half the proceeds are going to go to Diane Lasan's Fearless Living Fund for yes. the Blind Center of Nevada. And just keep watching; it's coming soon. It will be in print before you know it. All right. For all our right. chatter friends that are in our mastermind are going, yeah, we've heard this for the past several weeks. <laughs> right. No, it's it's really happening, I swear. It's a labor um, of love. All right, so I have a hat and some stickers. I have this oh, awesome yes. winter beanie. Yes, yes. All right. Can Can I know who gets the it's beanie? Mm -hmm. Somebody that lives in Florida, I'm sure. Or Arizona. Or Arizona. <laughs> the Don. The Don. Oh, congratulations. Hey, Tommy. That's hilarious. Hi, Tommy. Tommy, Tommy. Tommy's in the house. All right. I got Tommy one, on the wheel. I got one more. I think this is the last one. I could do a couple of these if we need to because eBay sent me a lot. Um, I have a bag of shipping supplies. And I opened this one so big because what's in it? We've got a couple rolls of black and white eBay tape. Ooh. It's got several different sizes of poly mailers. Oh, some big ones. 
Oh, and I've got I've bought one of those. Those are awesome. It's got tissue paper. Yeah, this is one of the like a pack like they were uh, selling yesterday. Yep. It's got a bunch of stickers and different things in there. And it's got some bubble mailers. It's even got some of these cardboard mailers. It's state Yeah, sure. Yeah, that thing. Yes, Sarah. Just so you know, you have to have a reseller coloring book for your mental health as a reseller. Yes. She's like, in case yes. you don't have enough to do. Yes. <laughs> All right, here we go. Shipping supplies. Let's okay. Lizzo. All right. Congratulations, Woo. All right. Do we have right. anything else or we're done with the giveaways? I think that's it. All right. right. You guys are keeping track of this question. One. I guess it's recorded. Question, y'all. Do I do the second bag? Yes, if I can the, get on the wheel, sure. That Nick wanted. You guys no, have bags. don't, don't do, don't do that. We have so many bags. He doesn't we need those. So Let's bags. do my last bag. We're going to do it. We don't need the, Nick, we, no, we're going to do it. This is such a nice bag. All right, here we go. Another bag. We and love giving stuff away. Robin? Mike. 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 Oh, all right. <laughs> Add that to Julie's pile. There you go. All right. <laughs> Wow. I thought close. it was Robin. All right. It, was it is so Mike. close. It okay, looks wait, like um, it's on Robin, but no. We, right we have an line. idea here. And I just, so Sarah says, we need a reseller puzzle where uh -huh. I put together a picture of a thrift store. All right. Mm -hmm. That, I like that. And I, yes. Oh, yes. Yes. I really okay. That. All right. I'll put that on my list for things to create. Anytime the weather dips below 17 <laughs> in Phoenix, yes. <laughs> oh my god, this is it's funny. So All right, guys. Y'all, it's Don. He's going to get that. I just want to tell y'all that you just visit the Donovan collection on eBay in a couple of weeks, and that's where you can find it. <laughs> He'll have that chook on there. Yep. We lost Libby. <laughs> she gave up. She gave up on us. I don't know what she's doing. She did. She quit us. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for joining us for our live recap. Yes. This has been a ton of fun. Remember to message us at consignmentchats at gmail.com with your mailing address so that we can get your prizes to you. Um, we thank you for your support and let us know if there's any more tutorials you would like us to add. Yes. Bye, guys. Here. Oh, Bye. here. Cheers. Until next oh. time. Cheers. Cheers.